The population of Market Bosworth is approximately 2,500. In 1974, Market Bosworth Rural District Council merged with Hinckley Rural District to form the district of Hinckley and Bosworth. At the heart of the town is a small market square, circa 1285, where regular markets are still held. The surrounding streets are filled with pretty thatched cottages and Georgian styled houses. St. Peter's Church was built in the 14th century. Truly beautiful church, well kept and stunning to wander around and enjoy. The grounds are beautifully clean and tidy. The church itself is packed full of history, a sight worth seeing. Bosworth Hall is a historic country house and Grade 2 listed building. Now known as the Bosworth Hall Hotel, it was the country seat of the Dixie family for nearly 300 years. Market Bosworth Country Park extends to 86 acres and was formerly part of Bosworth Hall Deer Parkland. The park features a lake, a wildflower meadow and a community woodland. The park has been awarded with the Green Flag Award. Bosworth Water Park is a family orientated leisure and water park set in 50 acres of glorious Warwickshire countryside. It has a well established three star rated campsite which is open all year round. The site is grassed and gently sloping with a mixture of both electrical and non electrical pitches. Market Bosworth Marina is a 20 acre site which offers 150 moorings. New five star facilities and services available with direct access to the lockless Ashby Canal. In 2005, work began on a feasibility study 
or land to the south side of Station Road, initially confined to land owned by David Lewis. After further research was carried out, it became apparent that there was scope for a large development scheme, subject to being able to assemble adjacent landowners for what would be a mixed development of residential, industrial and commercial usages. Between 2005 and 2009, work continued with landowners and representatives of the F.R. Smith Diseased Will Trust, culminating in a report compiled by Stonely Planning under the direction of Mr. Richard Dunnett, the purpose of which was to carry out a forensic examination of Inkley and Bosworth Borough Council site allocations and create a draft option report. This report was the origin of the station fields development process. The Neighbourhood Development Plan brings together the views of the local people and represents them to a wide range of organisations that set policies and deliver services to rural areas. The NDP was issued to HBBC in October 2014 and accepted in early 2016. The station field design brief identified land which was to be developed and which was in two parts. Firstly, land owned by the church and secondly, the access land, which had multiple ownerships. Following the release of the station field design brief in May 2016, the green light was given to all parties. At the specific request of HBBC. Evaluation was carried out in 2016 on the industrial land owned by the council.
For whatever reason, after the valuation was received by HBBC, there was a reduction in their involvement and they have pursued a policy of non-commitment ever since. The result is that HBBC seems to be in limbo. In 2017, following the retirement of the land director of Blow Homes, Alistair Sykes, Blow Homes' enthusiasm waned and in order to facilitate the delivery of the station fields development, Andromeda appointed Miller Homes who demonstrated their enthusiasm to deliver the site and they have been in negotiations with the major landowners and are ready to start the legal process for delivery. In 2019, HBBC instructed Define to examine a preferred access option into the land that will form the station field development. It is apparent that most of the previous work on the project from 2005 to 2019 has been dismissed. For what purpose is a complete mystery. Church land to be included in the development covers an area of approximately 20.9 acres and the church representatives Carter Jonas have indicated a willingness to sell their land holding to facilitate the station field development. The access land is in multiple ownership. The area coloured yellow on the plan is owned by the Hanford family. Unit 1s, 2 and 4 started life by way of a piece of derelict land in 1977 and have the benefit of a 99 year lease signed in September 1977. They were developed by previous owners and then eventually purchased by Ben and Lucy Hamford at a cost which reflected the capital value of the buildings which had been constructed on the site at that time. In spite of delays in the planning process, flying spares have confirmed their commitment to Market Bosworth and are making plans to build a 30,000 square foot new factory on part of the church land that will form, in part, the additional industrial expansion as referred to in the station field brief. This expansion program will provide employment for the existing staff together with the opportunity for additional employment prospects for the community in the years to come. Provided, of course, they are not forced out of the village by actions of others. Architects appointed are in the process of finalizing design and accommodation in readiness for a planning application in the near future. Unit 3 of the industrial estate is owned by Mutlow Property Holdings Limited. Terry Mutlow acquired a derelict piece of land in 1977 from HBBC by way of a 99 year lease, built a small industrial unit 
and financed all the construction together with infrastructure costs. Clinton Enterprises are the three old owners of the old council depot, which we have identified on the plan in blue. What can be established is that the depot was built by Market Bosworth Rural District Council between 1970 and 1977, after they purchased the land in 1964. The land was sold free old with the benefit of a legal easement which guarantees three separate entrances and or exits at blue on the plan. It is our understanding that the planners would not be adverse to introduce a convenience store into the plans for station field. Negotiations are ongoing with Mr. Clinton and his solicitor Adrian Strickland of ESN Solicitors with regard to finding a suitable use for his site and which may well be a convenience store that will complement the development. The land coloured purple represents the free old interest currently in the ownership of HBBC. The history of land ownership is as follows. By reference to a conveyance of the 2nd of November 1964 by Market Bosworth Rural District Council, 3.05 acres was purchased and which is represented by the yellow parameters. By reference to the conveyance of the 2nd of November 1964, it would appear that the land at red was not included in the purchase and by reference to 99 year leases created in 1977 the land is not included. The land coloured brown represents the sidings land. The land refers to as the siding land, as its name suggests, was attached to the railway station and was purchased by David Lewis in 1982 and is still in his ownership. The site covers an area of 3.5 acres of which is available for industrial stroke commercial use and some of which has been incorporated in the station field brief. The planning application for the estate road was granted in December 2000. Details of the alterations required and approved were attached to the approval notice.
In accordance with the station field design brief, work is underway by appointed architects in readiness to submit a planning application for the site to include B1, B2, B8 requirements and the inclusion of a community facility together with parking. Sequence of events from 2005 to 2020. Between 2005 and 2009, Andromeda together with Richard Dunnett, a planning consultant and trustees of the church land with a view to site assembly. From 2010 to 2017, Andromeda worked with Bloor Homes, Trustees of the Churchland, Carter Jonas Acting for the Church, and HBBC's Mr Evans and Mr Burns, with a view to delivering a mixed-use development for the station field project. From 2017 to 2020, after Bloor Homes decided not to pursue their interest, Andromeda decided to relinquish their position and appoint Miller Homes to continue negotiations with all parties and deliver the mixed-use development project known as Station Field. During the period from 2017 to 2019, HBBC has continued to frustrate the planning process and distance themselves from discussions with Miller Homes. However, work has continued in order to progress the scheme and to guarantee delivery as soon as possible. By reference to HBBC's instructions to define the appointed planning consultants, it does not address the history of the work carried out by landowners and connected parties between 2005 and 2019 and does not seek to investigate the current position in relation to the timescale for delivery of the station field development. access option 1 and 2 do not take into account the access approved by HBBC in 2000 by way of a planning application granted to David Lewis to alter the access to the sidings land shown in yellow on plan. In addition the easement granted to unit 3 is shown in brown is also impinged. Unless HBBC are factored in a compensation package for circa £4 million for landowners that will be disadvantaged by access options 1 and 2, then they are undeliverable.
Access option three. All landowners and Miller homes in agreement. Legal options in place. No compensation payments necessary. Station field project ready to go. Conflict for HBBC. Number one. In 2016, HBBC Estates Department agreed to exchange a council owned 3,000 square foot unit on the old industrial estate for a new 5,000 square foot unit within the new development. Number two, the valuation of September 2016 carried out by WHE did not produce the desired result for H. BBC Estates Department and as such progress from that point with HBBC has been minimal. Number 3. HBBC are behind target with the delivery of residential properties although the planning department has so far resisted any planning application for the station field site. Number four, the notion that HBBC controlled the station field site has no provenance. Conclusions. Time is not on the side of the station field development, as other sites are being promoted in Market Bosworth. Non-disclosure of material facts by HBBC, either by accident or design, would have had a fundamental effect on the master plan to be released by Define in the near future. Irrespective of the station field brief, unless and until HBBC control the access they are not able to sell their industrial holdings at a substantial premium to value, irrespective of other more important considerations. <laughs>